let's talk about just a few helpful tips that might help you, might not, but I just wanted to throw this out there for anyone who did not know. And uh, let's start with number one, elemental sight. If things aren't as obvious to you around the map, like interactables, use your elemental sight and you'll see. This right here is indicating that we should break the rock in order to get maybe a chest. Slimes, which I think we need to kill first and then we get the chest. Using your elemental sight can help you pinpoint chests around the map. It can help you find um, puzzles and stuff that you need to complete. I also want to say maybe talking to NPCs, like this random guy right here, Harry, Knight of Favonius. I want to see if we can talk to him and he'll give us something just by asking who he is. And this option pops up, a treasure chest. What kind of help do you provide? Now you can read through the lore and find out what they want and all this other stuff, but just going around talking to random NPCs, if it has a treasure chest icon on one of their dialogue options, select it. They'll give you something. It's always different from like Adventure XP, um... Some food items and stuff like that. Recipes, books, and stuff. He gave me a weapon. Cool steel. Wow. He actually gave me a weapon. So if we go down and take a look at this weapon. I don't know which one he gave me. Right here? A three-star weapon. Increases damage against enemies affected by Hydro Cryo. There you go. Just talking around. Just talk to NPCs. Random NPCs around the map. Just talk to them talk through all their dialogue options and, and just see if they have anything to give you, you know? And one one big example of talking to NPCs for them to give you something is if you go to Mondstadt and go to the cathedral, on the left-hand side, there is a nun named Victoria. If you talk to her, select the third dialogue option, she will give you a four-star artifact. And that four-star artifact is uh, this... She will give you a four-star artifact just by talking to her, selecting the third dialogue option. You never know what you might get by talking to NPCs around the map. Okay, believe it or not, but this is another thing that a lot of people forget, is using your adventurer's handbook, your advantage. So a lot of the times I get asked, where is a monster located on the map? But if you open up your adventurer's handbook, go to the bosses tab, you can see where every single monster is. Just navigate. By clicking that, you'll be able to go to them. Cryo Abyss Mage, Ruin Guard. Maybe you need Fatui Agents and you don't see it on the list, right? You don't see Fatui Agents, you just see these Fatui Skirmishers. Top left, you can change regions. Mondstadt, Salioa. Right there, you got the Fatui Agents, you got the Ruin Hunters, you got the Geo Bishop Hatchlings that you need for these uh, Fragile Bones. You can just switch between the two and you got the Pyro uh, Abyss Mage here as well. Okay, another helpful tip would be your weekly bosses. So normally on Sunday, which is today as I'm recording this, these domains right here are random in terms of weapon ascension materials. Weapon ascension materials, everything is thrown into the pot, right? As you can see, Monday through Thursday, it focuses on a specific item. Tuesday and Friday focuses on one item. Sunday is a day where it throws everything into the pot. Same thing with talent materials right here. Monday, everything is there so it's pretty random you can't really focus on what you want to farm um there's rng thrown in there if you want to farm for a specific talent up book or weapon ascension material so normally i save my bosses for the end of the week not only because of that they also take up 60 resin so it's perfect because you have 120 resin so the wolf of the north takes 60 resin storm terror takes 60 but also because the, the rewards that you get will be scaling as you level up your world level. So you wait until the end of the week to do the boss fight for better rewards possibility. If you end up doing the Wolf of the North fight or the Storm Terror fight, like for example, I'm ranked 34. Pretend today was Monday, right? The boss just reset. I ended up doing the boss fight. I can only do it one time per week. And then I ended up ranking up to 35. My world level went up to four and bosses dropped better loot. I'd be missing out on that loot for the same resin cost um, because I didn't want to wait. So right now, this unlocks at 35. Right now, Storm Terror Fight number 2 only drops these fragments as a highest. Number 3, they'll drop more fragments and probably give me a better chance at give, get, giving me these gold artifacts. So always do your boss fight at the end of the week before the reset. It's a perfect time to do it because the domains are all random anyways. So 
And just to check, just to check when it resets for you, because everyone has different resets time times based off of your um, time zone. Right here, go to your battle pass, hit F4, go down to uh, the second tab right here. Weekly missions. It'll tell you when the week resets for you specifically. For me, it's going to reset in 12 hours because it's 4.30 p.m. for me, and it resets at 4 a.m. Uh, EST for me. So it could be a little bit different for you. Just make sure if you need to double check to see what time it actually does reset, go to your battle pass. Here it is. Okay, so this is what I want to mention. Another thing would be the Seelies, the ghost. I have no idea where this ghost is, but if we use Elemental Sight, there's a trail that'll lead you where the ghost is. So somewhere in this general direction. Use Elemental Sight, try and find this guy. Where is this man? There he is. It was in this general direction. Boom. There he is. Alright, and I think that's it. If you guys do have any useful tips of your own that you would like to share, um, leave them down below. I hope this video was informative and helpful. If any of you guys do have any further questions or comments, please leave them down below as well. I'll be more than happy to respond. Other than that, I hope to catch you guys next time.